Good morning from Coletta de Fusti in Fuerteventura. We're here today to see Obicat, one of the beautiful catamarans, and I'm gonna show you around the whole resort. Now, Coletta de Fusti in Fuerteventura is closer to the airport. It's a lot different to Coraleco, um, which we're gonna post another video of. So make sure to like, follow, and subscribe to our channel because we're gonna be telling you everything about the Canary Islands, Lanzarote, Fuerteventura, Tenerife, and we'll even get over to Gran Canaria. Let's go take a look. I'm here in the harbour of Caleta de Fuste. So here we are. We're starting at Obicat. So I've come down because at Travel On World, as you know very well, we are the leading online excursion supplier for the Canary Islands. And although I'm in Lanzarote a lot and do a lot of videos, it's time to broaden our horizons and get Fuerteventura, Tenerife, Gran Canaria back on the map, which we did before, but then with lockdown, we sort of took our foot off the gas and saw, you know, let's focus on Lanzarote because it's so busy. So these are the guys we've come down to see, Obicat. Look at that beautiful red catamaran. And they've also got catamarans in Coraleco as well. And down here, now it's early doors, but down here is beautiful. And really nice bars and restaurants. They're not open yet, which is surprising to be honest. I thought people would be down here early doors uh, for breakfast. It's what, it's 9.15. It's nine uh, maybe they're late risers in Coletta de Fusti. But I know when we've done walks down Puerto del Carmen in Lanzarote, people are around and about at this time. But you've got quite a few boats up here and up there you've got loads of diving activities i'll take you for a little walk up there in a moment but it's a beautiful view you can see some hotels in the back ground there a little glass bottom boat getting ready for the day not as good as the lanzarote submarine though that the yellow submarine or the pink submarine I think I'm more a fan of the yellow one, to be honest. But these places must be open on the night, look. Um, and I can imagine this all lit up at night would be beautiful. Just overlooking everything down there. Down here, you've got some other, other areas. Let's just have a look down here. So you've got like a, an ocean aquarium here, which looks like it does some kind of sea lion interaction i'm not sure is there a sea lion down there let's try and have a little nose and see what we can see so i've just come to the side there is a sea lion but he's in there look and obviously you do the interaction here i'll be honest not a fan of that at all um not a fan of that at all i don't know why um i've no problem with the uh, like Rancho Texas and things like that that are sort of born and raised in captivity. Well, I, I don't know, opinions, opinions, but that to me just seems a little bit odd. What do you think? Drop us a comment. Have you done this sea lion experience down here? It's sort of a, sort of a false hope that, isn't it? It's sort of, you, you're in natural freedom, but you're not. <laughs> Very strange, I don't know. Tell me your thoughts, drop me a comment. You can see there's some people out and about. And it's a beautiful harbour area down here. Reminds me a lot of um, Porto Calero, but not as posh, not as posh. So let's go take a look in the town of Caleta de Fusti and see what's going on, because there is another shopping centre area, uh, some more bars and restaurants. There's all sorts going on. Let's go take you on a little tour while I wait for my meeting with Obicat. So we're in sort of the main town of Coletta de Fusti um, and it reminds me a lot of, you could say, this place is the Costa Teguise of Fuerteventura for me um, because everything's spread out. So it's not like um, Coraleco um, and Puerto del Carmen where everything's on one strip. Everything's spread out so there's all different areas. So you've got the El Castillo central commercial here with some bars and restaurants and then just behind me you've got another sort of area with some big restaurants like the smokehouse sports bar hopscotch 
and of course a big tat shop <laughs> which is actually called the china shop so there you go so let's have a little look around here So you've got your curry house here, obviously that's not open. But I'll tell you what I'm surprised at. It's now nearly 10 o'clock in the morning and everything's shut. So is Coletta de Fusti a party place where people party all night and sleep in during the day? Because I know if it was 10 o'clock in Puerto del Carmen or Coraleco, there'd be loads of people around. So this is the main central commercial look. Shops are closed, there's a little supermarket here. So this is central commercial Castillo, or the castle. Few people around, but nothing really going on. Maybe it's a changeover day, it's a Friday down here. Shops are shut, quarter to 10. I'm sure they'll be open soon. But you can have a little look and see what is going on. So you've got all your bars and restaurants here. I recognise the name of this one, the Goose and Firkin. This was a, always a sort of breakfasty place. Very popular with the British. So there you go, Goose and Firkin. Bargain breakfast, three ninety nine. Look at that, three ninety nine a breakfast. That's why that's busy, eh? So that's cheap. And then further down here, you got some more places. Let's go and take a look. Big Chinese restaurant. Another place busy, the uh, Blues Bar and the 60s Bar. It's busy there as well for breakfast. So you can see the British places. This is definitely, for me, the Costa de Guise of Fuerteventura for sure. Very British. You can see that the sort of Spanish Canarian places haven't even opened yet. But the British restaurants are open for brekkie. 3 .99. You can't get, you can't go wrong with that, can you? Big, um, big bars here on the front as well. And a big Irish bar too. Again, they look like they're open more on the evenings as well. So you've got O'Connor's Irish bar. And then down here, this is another one with some entertainment as well. So this is your sort of nightlife. This is Piero's. Um, I've never been down here, but I know it's very popular and it's huge as well. Look, you've got a big restaurant this side and then you've got the entertainment that side. Um, yeah, look at that, everything everything British. So there you go, Coletta de Fusti. Could be the British resort of Fuerteventura. I reckon so. What do you reckon? If you've been here before, is it very British? I know Coraleco is all sorts of languages and cultures and stuff like that. Um, lots of Italians, but down here in Coletta, seems to be catered more towards the British market, which is our market, which is great. So if you come into Coletta de Fusti and you want excursions i'm down here signing everybody up and we're gonna have some amazing deals for you so make sure to click the link below and i'm going to take you now to another part of coletta to show you that part so here we are at the other part of coletta de fusti and this is another sort of street with different bars restaurants and shops on so like I said, it's all separate, all different areas that you can sort of enjoy and try. I don't know what I prefer. I like the, the sort of Coraleco, um, Puerto del Carmen, all on one street. I like that because you can wander down. It's more busy, uh, more of an atmosphere. 
whereas here you can see all the different places I suppose it when it's really really busy uh, everywhere's everywhere's got plenty of people but because everybody's spread out across the resort it's uh, I suppose more 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 relaxing if that's what you if that's what you like but you can see none of the restaurants are open at the moment a lot look like they've closed down as well um, whether or not it comes alive at night maybe it's busier at night but you've got this side here with sort of bars restaurants again this side all looks like it's closed down so this is not very good is it so maybe that's the that's the problem when you separate resorts and places and have everything spread out some places work some places don't i suppose it depends on the foot traffic which is why puerto del carmen coraleco um, works so well because everything's on one place so you get the foot traffic there but that means rent is very high so you got your big sort of uh, Chinese buffets here as well got some small apartments on the other side but it's very quiet around here this is another center this is the Los Arcos center and again at the rooftop it looks like it's got some sort of uh, more British bars and karaoke bars and then there's some bigger restaurants further up El, El, uh, El Patio and the Faro Steakhouse there's a few people around things going on in here look heroes live music sports definitely not my favorite part of town this I definitely prefer the other the other side down by the harbor so there you go that's another section of Coletta de Fusti let's go see if I can find any more and here we are we found another section with some other bars and restaurants down on this area as well this looks a little bit busier a nice little tapas place here uh, looks like you've got a nightclub upstairs or a fun pub disco pub lots of traffic i'll tell you what I thought Lanzarote was bad for parking. This place is terrible. You got Las Vegas here, look, little car, little uh, playground for the kids. And here, there's loads, loads of bars and restaurants along this bit. Bar studs, very British, very popular by the looks of it. Ah, there's Gory. Trafalgar as well, very very busy. Very busy indeed. There you go, that gives you a little view of Caletta de Fusti. And I think I'm going to stop here and get myself a drink because I'm really hot.